You know the Shay name and this is Cleo. Do you guys remember Miss Cleo? Miss Cleo infomercials? I always wanted to call Miss Cleo, but I was like eight years old, so I, you know, couldn't. Can you still call Miss Cleo? I want to call Miss Cleo. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here, I'm Ashley and I am so excited that you're joining us. Today, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite kinds of videos to make. It is a full face of first impressions. So all the products in today's video are from black owned beauty brands. I have seen so many people making videos like this and I think it's amazing because here's the thing. If you want change in our communities, in our political system, from the local level all the way to the national level, vote. If you want to see change in the products we buy, in the industries in this country, in different brands, vote with your wallet. Where you spend your money is crucial. And supporting Black-owned businesses is how you can support Black communities today, right now. Honestly, other than voting, there is no bigger impact you can have than the impact you make when you are conscious of where you are spending your dollars. I promise you, it is your power. Whether you have a small monthly budget or a large monthly budget, every single dollar that you spend is powerful. All right, let's get into these first impressions. I am so, so excited. I really did not know of several of these brands. A few of them I had heard of and I'd kind of like had several of them on my list, but I had never gotten around to trying them. So no more excuses. We're doing the thing today. Starting off with foundation. This is the Oma Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I'm very interested to try this because it does say that it's a soft matte but it also says hydrating. So, hmm. I have heard that this formula is like very, like that you need to be quick about blending it because it dries down kind of fast. So I'm gonna do one half of my face first and I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation brush, which is this 102 Silk Finish Brush from Zoeva. Oh, I do see that. You do need to kind of work in sections because it does dry down pretty quick. So I understand that. Just for reference, I got the shade Fair Lady T2N. And I feel like the shade match is really good. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have to go so quick. I'm not used to that. So my daughter's in this phase where if she sees me, she then has to be with me. And there's like, I love it. It's so sweet, but then I feel so bad because like when I go to do anything, like if she's downstairs and playing with her abuela, she's fine. But if I go downstairs to get something, she's like, mama. And then that's it. It's like over. <laughs> she's all about mama right now, which I'm not going to lie. I kind of like because, you know, it makes me feel kind of special. If you are wondering, well, what about primer, Ashley? Um, I just used my normal primer and I already primed off camera because when I try a new foundation, I do not like to try a new primer just because I feel like it's not fair to the foundation because then if there's something off with how the foundation performs, I don't really know if it's because it just didn't, you know, because that primer just wasn't good with my skin and therefore, you know, didn't give a good base for the foundation or if it was the foundation. So just to give everything a fair shot, I don't like to use different primers when I'm using a first impression. Oh my gosh, a little bit of this goes a long way. And I tell you what, I am the absolute worst at over applying foundation sometimes. I don't mean to, I feel like, oh, I didn't get too much. And then it's like, I really just went too far, but this is pretty forgiving. It's blending in really nicely. And I think maybe it's gonna sit down a little more matte than this, maybe. But at this moment, I'm pretty good with this finish. It's not as radiant as I normally go for. It's a little softer, but it definitely doesn't seem like it's matte like matte matte. I'm kind of understanding what they mean by soft matte at this point. 
So if you're new here, my nose is my problem area. Sometimes foundation just does not sit properly on my nose and that's always a big test for me when it comes to a new foundation. This one blended really well into my nose. I don't notice any issues, no breaking up. It looks really nice. So hmm. liking this, it's very pretty. And the shade match is really good. So that's exciting. All right, this concealer is also from Oma Beauty. This is the Stay Woke Concealer. I got the shade White Pearl T2. And to blend it in, I'm gonna be using one of these blending eggs from Beauty Bakery, which the packaging on these guys is so absolutely adorable. Like, oh my gosh, that packaging. Her packaging, the uh, founder of Beauty Bakery, her name is Cashmere, oh my gosh. That packaging is so absolutely beautiful. So many props to her on that because I think it's the cutest packaging I have probably ever seen. It's just cute, like it's such a cute idea. And you know, sometimes when I think brands do like kind of themed packaging, like it doesn't always turn out very cute, but hers turned out very cute. On the other side, I'm gonna use a brush instead just so I can kind of compare. I like different concealers with different application methods, so I kind of always have to try both ways to determine, okay, which way do I like it? And when I do blend out concealer, I usually use this Real Techniques brush if I'm gonna use a brush for it. So I'm gonna see how I like this with the brush. I think I'm gonna like this better with the brush, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so we're gonna kinda think on it. So you may not know, but Oma Beauty was founded by Sharon Tudor. And if you have seen on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I have um, put up a few story posts and then also a regular post about the pull up or shut up movement. And that was actually something that she started. I was made aware of it by Jackie Ina, but it was something that she kind of started that asks brands to, you know, be very transparent about how much black representation they have at the corporate level and then in different positions, meaning like how much they have at the management level, at the, you know, C-suite level. A lot of the answers have been eye-opening to say the least. So there's that. I'm going to set my under eye using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder and oh my gosh, you guys. This packaging, again, so super cute. It comes in this little bag that looks like a bag of flour. And I love, love, love that she's using the Better Not Bitter, which if you guys don't remember, or you know, maybe, you know, it's something, I, I barely, barely, barely remembered that, oh my gosh, I think it was several years ago, there was a controversy about a large brand, larger brand, kind of ripping off an indie brand with a photo shoot they did about baking powders. And oh my gosh, I went back and looked it up and well, number one, I feel like they definitely did <laughs> totally rip Beauty Bakery off. But I also loved that the founder, I think I've already mentioned her name is Cashmere, Cashmere Nicole. She basically addressed it and you know, the way she addressed it was so gracious and she actually used the phrase you know we're better not bitter about it that you know their products are better and they they're not bitter about you know somebody trying to you know take their ideas because they're confident that they do it better and i will say as someone that has tried that other baking powder and is now trying this one i do think that they do it better this is definitely smoother than that competitor's powder and also the tone is way better and I have tried several shades from the other. This one is way better for me. Like I said, I got Oat, which is the translucent shade, translucent shade. And this is, oh my gosh, really nice. I like that a lot. Damn. We're gonna move on to sculpting the face. I just love to sculpt my face before I do my eyes. I don't know why, there's just something about it that I feel like it's such an essential part of my base makeup. So this is the Oma Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick. I got the shade Fair Lady. So we're gonna start out with the sculpting side. Whew. 
All right, so I'm gonna just do this the way that I use any other stick. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wasn't expecting that. It is very pigmented. I should have checked first, that's my bad. So I'm gonna blend this out. Whew. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of pigment. They are not kidding about sculpting. That's, that's my bad. I should have tested that first. That's the real fun of first impressions is that you are always caught off guard by something. And I feel like it's almost always contour or bronzer products that catch me off guard and I go in way too hard. So we're not gonna make the same mistake that I just made. And on this side of the face, I'm actually gonna go in with a sponge just to see how I like that application better. Yes, I do like this application better. I think it's more even and working out a lot better for me. The problem is when you go in so hard at first, if a product is really pigmented, which I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be, <laughs> but when you go in that hard at first, it can make it a little uneven even after you've blended it. So I'm doing my forehead with the sponge as well, and I definitely like that application method better than just going straight in. I just have so many cream sticks that I feel like that's the easiest way for me to do it because they're not as pigmented as this one is but for something that's this pigmented i think it's definitely better to pick the product up first and then apply it rather than going straight onto the face i think this product may be a miss for me it just isn't really hitting the mark and i think it's probably my application but try all right so i'm going to try to clean up some of these edges with a little bit of concealer and i am going to use a brush just because i want it to be a little more defined all right, time to contour the nose. I'm gonna take this on my little Emacs design brush, which I'm sure is from Amazon. I need to confirm that because I love this brush and I use it so much, but I'm pretty sure it came from Amazon. I'm gonna have to look back through. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that in contour. I wanna say that what I've noticed so far about these Oma products is that the finish is beautiful, but you have to work quickly. These do dry down very quickly, the foundation and also the sculpt. Like I think it's definitely best to go a little bit at a time. Otherwise it's going to dry faster than you can blend. So you do need to do kind of the quick blend method. So next up, I purchased two of these Color Fix cream colors. These are liquid pigments. These are from Danessa Myricks. I picked up Romance and Celebration. I'm not even sure which one I wanna go with. Oh my gosh. I think they're both metallics. I'm pretty positive. You guys, if you have not seen Danessa Myricks Instagram, do yourself a favor, go check it out because holy heck y'all, she is like, one of the most talented individuals on the planet. I am so convinced of it. You know, I think I'm feeling this romance, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take romance, I put a little bit on my hand, and I'm gonna get me a little, like a short shader brush. This is a firm shader from Sigma. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and put it on. These are really cool. These are cream pigments. You can use them on the eyes, the cheeks, the lips, and they're very buildable. So you can kind of play up the intensity. I've watched several videos with Danessa in them because honestly, just looking at her Instagram, there is so much just like glowing skin and oh my gosh, so many looks that are like monochromatic and you guys know that I love. A monochromatic look that is just right up my alley so I'm so excited to try these these dry down very quickly which is good because that means you can build it up once you have a layer down it appears that the next layer just goes over really smoothly I don't notice any kind of like pulling up of the product under it when I'm doing the second layer and oh my gosh so dimensional. You guys know how much I love cream shadows. I love cream shadows. I love dimension on the eyes. Oh my gosh. I'm excited for these. I want to buy more colors because, oh my gosh, these are pretty. And she has different finishes. These are metallic, but she also has some matte finishes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I am excited for this.
This product is so up my alley. I cannot believe that I had not found this before now. I am just feeling this. Again, doing another second layer on the eye. So doing another second layer on this eye, I did a second layer on my right, your left, if you're watching this. And again, blends perfectly over the first layer, which is not something that always happens. Sometimes you'll have products and they say that they're buildable, but then when you try to layer, it goes terribly wrong. Not the case here. And you can see on this eye, I put down a little bit more on the lid and I love that it looks very wet. So I'm gonna do that on this eye as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the lid to kind of give that wet look. So I'm gonna kind of put it down and then just barely blend the edges to kind of let it keep that glossy look on the lid. And oh my gosh, you guys, do you see this? This is freaking gorgeous. I live for cream eye products. I'm like legit so excited about this eye, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am definitely gonna pick up some more shades of that because that was pretty. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Blitz Brown shade of her Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. So let's see how smooth this baby is. I feel like it's, oh yeah, oh yeah like butter you know how i feel about things that go on smooth i love them i am in love with victoria beckham's satin kajal eyeliner because it literally goes on like satin so does this it is so smooth you guys oh my gosh and i love that they have like this bronzy shade thank you pat mcgrath you are fantastic so I'm gonna use this other color fix from Danessa Myricks, the shade Celebration. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of that on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna find me a little pencil brush. I'm gonna use this Dome's Utility Brush and I'm gonna use that to blow out the liner and my lower lash line because I feel like it could use it. And I also feel like this really stays in place. So I feel like it's not gonna smudge on my lower lash line, which I'm excited for because the last thing you want when you smudge out the lower lash line is for that shadow to then end up, you know, all the way down here later in the day. Uh, so I am pretty much in love with these Color Fix cream colors. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, throw on some mascara because I have little individuals, so I don't have a mascara to show you guys. And then we're gonna do brows. All right, my hands are mostly clean. Let me tell you what, those Color Fix pigments, like they are there to stay. <laughs> I'm going to now do my brows. I picked up this Oma Baby Hair Brow Pencil. I got the shade, I believe it's O2. If I can, I think it says O2. I'm excited to try this because it looks like it's a very fine brow pencil. And that is what I tend to gravitate towards for brows is very fine pencils, so. Let us see how it goes. I feel like I need to move my mirror up more because I think I've been going down too much <laughs> when I'm doing my eyes. So I apologize if my angles have not been quite correct. And yes, I like this brow pencil. And I can tell you that right off the bat because you know, brow pencils are pretty straightforward. Either, you know, it works for the way you like to do your brows or it doesn't. There's not really a lot of in between in my opinion with brow pencils because, you know, brows are hard enough without having to fight with a product. So I think really your preference on brow products is gonna really depend on, you know, how your eyebrows look naturally, number one, and number two, how you like to do them. So, you know, for me, I like a fine brow pencil. That is really the product that I most often use for my brows. For reference, I really like the Dior Brow Styler. That's one of my faves. And then Maybelline also has a 1.5 millimeter one that I just recently tried and really like. This right up there with those. It creates very fine hairs and it goes on very smooth. So definitely a fan of this. Which the name is Baby Hair, so I guess it would make, you know, 
duh, it's gonna be fine. A very fine tip, but nice. And the color is a really good uh, shade for me, so this is a win. You guys, I literally just changed this contact, had little tears welling up, and that Beauty Bakery flower powder is still intact. There's no like teardrop thing, like bless, bless. All right, for blush, I'm gonna go in with this Vision Flush. This is another product from Danessa Myricks. I got the shade Ballet Slippers. You can see that the brush is very much like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It reminds me of a liquid lip brush. This is something that you can use on your lips, on your cheeks, or on the eyes. I feel like this product is also gonna dry kind of fast, so I wanna work really quickly to get it on there and blend it in. And I don't want to go too much. Listen, this is very pigmented. I can tell you right now that I have used barely anything. And I'm sorry that I'm talking so fast, but I do not want it to dry down <laughs> before I finish blending it. And oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. And this is a beautiful color. This reminds me a lot of one of my favorite blush colors, which is Sun Touched from Cure Weiss. And what I always say about Sun Touch from Cure Weiss is that I love it because for my skin tone, it very much looks like the name would imply that it's sun touched. It's like I spent a little too much time in the sun. This reminds me of that. For me, this, for my coloring, this is a very good, like flush, like natural flush color. So props to Danessa. She is on top of it. You guys, that blush is so pretty. That is such a natural flush color for me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fine. I just look like a princess. <laughs> for highlighter, I have two different options. I got the Dew Wet highlighter from Danessa Myricks. And I'm gonna try this, but I'm also gonna try one from Juvia's Place. This is like a loose powder highlight, which is so right up my alley. So I do want to try both of these. I am really excited to try this from Danessa Myricks because I have been looking for something like this for a while and have yet to find something that actually does the job without pulling up product. So let's see if this does it. I think it might. So this is like dew. I got the color morning dew. So this is like one of those highlighters that's basically like a gloss that's gonna make you look wet. The problem is so many of these pull up the product underneath them. I'm looking at you, Westman Atelier. This one does not. Oh my gosh, I can see it so well here. It is wet and glossy. It did not pull up any of the blush, any of the foundation. You guys. I have been in search of a product like this. I am in love, I am in love. Danessa, you can take all my dollars. So I have this highlighting powder, this loose highlighting powder from Juvia's Place. It is the Nubian by Juvia's Loose Highlighter in Clio. And honest to God, now I don't even wanna try it because I don't wanna like go over this beautiful Danessa Myricks highlighter balm, but I'm going to. I'm going to take the same setting brush from Real Techniques because it's very loose. So I want something loose because this looks like it is very glittery, not glittery. It doesn't look glittery. Let me choose my words here. Shimmery because there is such a big difference between shimmer and glitter. This looks very shimmery. So I don't want to go in with too dense of a brush. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Ooh, see, even that was a little bit too much, too much. Let me tell you what. Every single one of these brands has brought it with the pigment. I'm not kidding. Like seriously, every single one. There is not a single product I have tried today that you could say, oh, it's not pigmented. These are pigmented products. The color payoff is there. So I am gonna put a little bit of this on my cheeks just to tie it together. And because honestly, this looks so pretty on my nose that like now I just want it all over. I just think this is gorgeous. And I feel like it will sit really pretty on top of that do me. Do me? Was it called do me? Do wet. Do wet. Because I was like, oh, do it. Like, do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm so glowy, you guys. Like, 
Like, oh my gosh, we gotta move on to lips. I've got to, I've got to live my life. I have got to live my life. I cannot sit here and obsess over this all day. Just so freaking excited. Okay, so I picked up two lipsticks from the brand Colored Rain. I picked up Serene and Charmed. So Colored Rain, I did not see that they're, they're not on Ulta and they're not on Sephora. I don't know if there's a third party retailer, but I bought directly from the site and the shipping was really quick. It came so fast. All right, so my camera decided to die on me, but I ended up going with uh, the shade Serene from Colored Rain, and then I topped it off with their lip gloss in the color Jewel. The lipstick goes on very smoothly, which I love. That's a big thing for me. That's really all I really ask of a lipstick. I don't care if I have to reapply a lipstick 20 times throughout the day. I just want it to smoothly apply every single time. This one applied very smoothly and I really like the color. And I touched it off with this gloss. And again, when it comes to gloss, I am a very simple girl. I don't want it to be too sticky and I don't want it to be too runny so that it just like goes everywhere. This is a great consistency so I am super excited about that. I cannot wait to try more products from all of these brands. I am so excited this is like honestly the best a first impressions has ever gone for me so feeling really good about that i am really liking everything the literal only thing that i want to give a few more kind of looks at because i'm not sure about would be the double take sculpt and sculpt and strobe duo stick from oma but again i'm almost positive i can really tell you that i just went in too hard and then it was kind of you know difficult to get an even blend once i had put too much product down and it is a very quick drying down formula so you do have to work very quickly i'm someone that kind of is a little more like like just kind of relaxed with how i do my makeup i go a little slow usually so um for me this product just you know didn't work on the first try but i'm gonna give it a few more shots Everything else though, oh my gosh, just. I thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. Just a friendly reminder, a gentle nudge. Please register to vote if you aren't already. I will put a link to register in my description box below. Vote, please. And remember, whether your budget is small or large, every dollar you spend counts and you have power to promote and enact real change, all right? I love every single one of you, no matter who you are watching, I really do. I appreciate you taking the time to be here with me today and I just really hope that you have a fantastic day. Please take care of yourself and take care of each other. I will see you in the next video. Bye.